What is a diode? A diode is the gatekeeper of electricity, letting current flow in only one direction. This tiny device is inside everything from radios to LED lights. The story of the diode began in 1904, when Sir John Ambrose Fleming invented the first thermionic diode, or Fleming valve, a vacuum tube that revolutionized early radio technology. By the 1930s, crystal diodes, like the cat's whisker detector, took center stage in primitive radios. Fast forward to the 1950s, when silicon and germanium diodes replaced bulky vacuum tubes, paving the way for smaller, more efficient electronics. But how does a diode work? Diodes operate on quantum mechanics principles, where electrons tunnel through energy barriers. Modern diodes are built from two types of semiconductors, N-type, which is rich in electrons, and P-type, which is rich in holes or has an absence of electrons. When these two types of materials meet, they form a PN junction, which is the key to how diodes operate. At this junction, the free electrons from the N-type material flow toward the P-type material, filling the holes. This process creates a depletion region, a zone devoid of free charge carriers, which acts as a barrier to current flow. Now, here's where things get interesting. In forward bias, the positive terminal of a power source is connected to the P side and the negative terminal to the N side. The depletion region shrinks. This reduction allows electrons to flow freely across the junction, enabling current to pass through the diode. In reverse bias, when the polarity is reversed, positive to the N side and negative to the P side, the depletion region widens, making it harder for the current to flow. This blocks the current, except for a tiny reverse leakage current that flows when the voltage is below a certain threshold. Special diode types like Zener diodes are invaluable for voltage regulation in power supplies. In reverse bias, when the voltage exceeds a certain value, the Zener diodes allow current to flow in reverse. The Schottky diodes have a lower forward voltage drop and faster switching speed making them ideal for high-frequency circuits and applications where speed is crucial. LEDs, or light-emitting diodes, emit light when forward-biased. Electrons in LEDs recombine with holes, releasing energy in the form of photon. This principle powers your favorite displays, from TV screens to phone lights. When exposed to light, photodiodes work in reverse. They generate a small current. This is the principle behind solar cells and light sensors. Diodes are everywhere. They convert AC to DC, protecting your devices from power surges, ensuring your electronics function safely, and enabling key systems like telecommunications and data transfer. Without diodes, modern electronics would cease to function. 